Welcome to episode 253, volume 3, Stogie Geek section. <laughs> no, Sticks of the Week section. All right, Sticks of the Week section right here. I'm a little distracted because my phone is blinging. All right, and I got to check my Stogie Geeks thing on the phone. This is interactive right now. I already got 10 new emails. Beautiful. This is phenomenal. This is interactive. We're going to continue that. Throwback Cigars. Joe, great show. I thought I would like to send you an email on some of the grassroots cigars. This comes from Scott from Providence. Uh, I thought I would email you some of the uh, cigars uh, for grassroots. I remember back in the day. He's got a couple of good ones here. Nice. Uh, uh, how can I forget this one, too? First one, right out of the gate. Puros Indios. Pyramid number one. It was a green label. I remember that, right? Pyros Indios. You probably never. No. Nope. Nope. Yep. Um, another one was the Las T in Shorty. That's probably, uh, I remember that one. That was like a, that was like, it's so funny. That To me, that was like the nub pre-nub. Okay. Like size-wise, you know what I mean? Uh, Las T in uh, Shorty. <clears throat> another classic, it's still around, but got me in the beginning, was uh, Potagus and Punch, of course. Yep. I remember Punch Maduro. All day, punch punch Maduro's uh, there, and then the uh, oh my god, my phone's still going off. The 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 Macaduno Hyde Park. That's a favorite of mine. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm having a, I'm trying to mental Rolodex. I green label. Yeah, simple green uh, green label. Um, Connecticut. Let us stick. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Got it. Yep. It says bring me back to the day. Uh, yeah, I'll say it. Brings me back to the day when I worked in a cigar shop locally. He gave me the name of the cigar, cigar shop back in the mid to late 90s. That came from uh, Scott from uh, Providence. And, yeah, we got <laughs> Puro Sindos. Yeah, it's, uh, I won't spend too much time on that. But nice. uh, it's funny how, you know, you ask and you receive. So yeah. Joe H. at StogieGeeks.com. Thank you, Scott, for your feedback. I appreciate you listening to the show. Um, and I appreciate your feedback, especially with the Piero Sendos uh, punch pot. I guess I was trying to like like yep. rack my brain, but you know, if I was if I was co-hosting, I probably would have would have done some more <laughs> a little bit more uh, prep on that. But you know, it's amazing how the feedback. Yeah, uh, I remember the Piero Sendos uh, coming back, and I remember there was another green label um, that that had uh, come back, and I remember and I remember way back when we had the shop. We uh, had for our house cigars the Florida de Oliva, and they were like three fifty. Yep. Uh, another one off the top of my head. I'll go one more, and then we'll, we'll do the stogies of the week. Another one off the top of my head was the Sancho Panza. You remember Sancho Panza? This is still floating around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Sancho Panza is still floating around, yeah. but but I remember when these Sancho Panzas came in, it was they were price point. Rhode Island still had the cap tax, so that yep. it wasn't there. They were price point like like. 525, you know, Robusto size, yep. Toro size, maybe 575. Box press, Sancho Ponzas flew off the shelf. Yep. Uh, very, very uh, mi- mildly tasty yep. uh, there, there too. So it's going to be fun exploring some of these old uh, some of these old brands. Maybe we'll do us uh, if we get enough emails. By the looks of things, we we, we, oh, we have enough. Love it. We, we 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 can do a back in the day segment. Like like where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so to speak, but this is the Stogie Geeks uh, Sticks of the Week section. You're listening to you're listening to episode uh, 252, 253, of, 253 of Stogie Geeks. Nice. See, I, I I I can't multitask. I got you, man. There's no way that I can check my phone and check my 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 the uh, I, I I can't. Look, well, you got a tag. I can I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask. You you know. Like I said today, if you're over 40, you shouldn't be texting. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you know? And and by the way, public safety, never text and drive. There you go. Boom. There you go. Sticks of the Week, episode 253. Joe D., what have you been smoking? I'm going to lead off with the, uh, the Avo Improvisation LE17. Ooh. Ecuadorian Habano Maran Claro wrapper. Was I there when you purchased that one? No. Oh, that wasn't the one? This was uh, okay. All right, all this, right. This is gifted to me. Gifted to That's me. cool. Um, Dominican uh, binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan filler, eighteen dollar price point. Smoked the uh, the Gordo six by sixty. Uh, only two thousand boxes uh, were available with uh, sixteen cigars in each. Um, combination of the Synchro Fogata and the Le 05. Seven different tobaccos were used. 
Uh, I was able to pull dough, spices, and uh, pepper and nuttiness out of the cigar. Really, uh, really good tasty stick. Over two hours plus of uh, smoking time made by Davidoff, and uh, this was a box worthy for me. The Avo Improvisation LE17 limited edition. Great, great stick. Won't be the last time I have this one. What was the one you called before? The other one. The name of that one? The music one. With the crazy box. Nice thing. You don't remember off the top? It's okay. I digress. Uh, side note, side yeah. thing. We're good. We're good. We're Previous good. review? Yeah. Uh, no, the one you got on uh, the day before Thanksgiving. Or two days before Thanksgiving. It's an Avo? Yeah. Got a, I got you a bought that in a 6A5. Where's the other one you got? No, I haven't smoked that one yet. That's, uh, what is that one? That's, that's the... Uh, is that, is that the limited edition? It's super cool. Anyway, yeah. Joe D is going to review a super cool <laughs> Avo in a couple of episodes. I digress. Sit, Moving on. Sit in the humor Moving on. Right See, now. I can't multitask. I'm the, <laughs> you know, I can't multitask. Anyway, sticking to the sticks of the week only for the rest of the segment, maybe. Right. Uh, I had, I actually reviewed this stick um, over the summer, and then I was able to get it in a different size. So it was definitely nice. worth a post up. Yep. Uh, up. And by the way, all my sticks are already posted on stogiegeeks.com. All you have to do is just go to the stogie section, and they'll all be listed uh, there for you. Uh, Comments on the site, you can knock yourself out, throw throw some comments on there if you want to, or flash me an email, whatever's easiest for you. Uh, I had the uh, Podigus Benji Menendez Master Series. The size I had was the LX Toro this time. It's uh, 6x54, Rappers African Cameroon. Binder is a Connecticut Havana seed, right? Uh, the uh, filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan Lajero. Complexity, scale of 1 to 10. I gave it a 7. Flavor, 7. Balance, gave it an 8. It's available in four different sizes. So I had the Robusto and now the LX. Uh, the one I'm specifically talking about here is the uh, LX. Again, 6x54. All the sizes are posted on stogiegeeks.com. So you can check them out. The stick starts and finishes with an earthy tobacco flavor for sure. You get old school classic the, the, the um, profile is full of wood notes with a little hint of sweetness, mm-hmm. but you still get what I call that old tobacco flavor, you know, awesome. uh, there too. Classic stick, pleasant, it's not overpowerful, it's slow burning with no surprises. So it just stays just, you know, a little earthy. It knows what old- it wants to be. It knows where it wants to be. <clears throat> the other one, I, I, the, 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 uh, I did a little bit better of a job articulating um, the flavors on this review uh, here. Um, it, what, what I did notice, though, it, 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 was, it was slow burning. You know, it wasn't moist. It just was slow burning, enjoyable smoke. If you see them out there, it's a Podigus Benji Menendez Master Series. I posted the picture of it uh, on stogiegeeks.com. Like I said, it's it's slow burning, has no surprises. That being said, great price point. I gave it a fiver. Nice. I'm, I'm still really loving this uh, this HR signature, man. This thing is, is so good. <clears throat> but anyway, the uh, my it next is six, good. It's it's really good. The Arturo Fuente Curly Head, six and a half by forty three, natural Lonsdale, uh, Cameroon wrapper, Dominican binder and filler, five dollar price point. The stick was unbanded. Very, uh, r- very rustic looking, uh, slightly misshapen, and uh, sweet tobacco and, and grassy notes with a little bit of pepper mixed in. Um, fun cigar to uh, to hold and smoke, uh, medium, but mild to medium. And uh, this was a fiver for me, and I, I'll definitely reach back and, and have them again. What was it? The Arturo Fuente Curly Head. Unbanded, really uh, rustic looking, mm-hmm. misshapen cigar. Uh, another stick I had was the uh, EP Carrillo Original Rebel. Digging this stick. I'm really, again, classic. It's available in three different sizes. Uh, it's available in three different sizes. I've had two of the three different sizes mm-hmm. uh, there. Th- this size I had was the uh, Rebellious 56. It's called a Toro Extra. The size is 7.5 by 56. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Re- the binder is from Ecuador. The filler is Nicaraguan. Complexity gave it a six. Balance and flavor, I gave it a seven. 
Uh, the stick is earthier with classic tobacco notes and mild sweetness. It's a very, it looks like a, a I don't want to say dry, but I want to say it's a non-oily wrapper. Okay. Right? Uh, you got some, you know, great appearance, good veins in it. They're not, you know, they're not too pronounced. It just, you can tell that it's going to be like an old school right. stick uh, there. Um, when you smoke broadleaf, you get a lot of uh, what I call typical broadleaf flavors where you get a mixture of earth and a little bit of sweetness. Not a lot of sweetness. No. You know, Subtle. I can't, I'm not going to go in and say I detect cocoa, I detect espresso. I detected espresso, but, you know, not for nothing, I was having a, a coffee with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it, it's a good classic yep. uh, stick. Again, phenomenal price point. Uh, flavor and strength do let up towards the end. So it's ranked f as a medium to full smoke. And I would say after you get past maybe the first inch, it jumps right down to a barely medium smoke. So okay. don't be like if, if, if you're new to uh, smoking uh, a, a DACA wrapped cigar, uh, don't think that it, you know, it, it's, it's big and it's going to be dark and it's going to, you know, it, 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 it mellows out. Apparently it's deceiving sometimes. Yeah, it, it, it does mellow out. And because of the mellow out factor, I did give it a fiver because, like I said before in in my ratings, complexity it's it's kind of like a six. It's not. It's it just it, it knows what it wants to do. Right. It's just a it's a good burning stick. Um, if you compare it to the EP Carrillo stuff that's out now, um, you it, it's you could tell it was like a stick of the past or gotcha. it's a replica. Yep. A, a further stick down of the, the depth chart, which is why it's called the original Rebel. I'm sure. Right. From marketing, who knows. Yep. You know, but maybe when we get them as as guests, we'll we'll, we'll solve that mystery. Nice. Next to me was the uh, the Undercrown Sungrown. Um, spoke two different sizes. Absolutely uh, love this stick. Um, Ecuadorian Sumatra Sungrown wrapper, Connecticut uh, Connecticut binder with Nicaraguan filler. Nine dollar price point, twenty five per box. Released at the two thousand seventeen IPCPR. Tangy spice, uh, graham cracker, light tobacco, ton of flavor in this uh, this particular cigar. Um, the factory work has created the underground, uh, the Undercrown, as an alternate to uh, the Liga, which is an interesting point. Uh, third release from uh, Undercrown with the uh, the shade also being in there. That was the second, and it uses the same uh, same binder as the T52, medium plus in strength. The, uh, the Grand Toro 6x52, I, I gave this particular stick a box worthy. And, uh, the, and the Corona size was only a fiver for me. The, uh, I felt it really, uh, that, that Grand Toro size, box worthy all day, the, the, uh, the flavor and the notes really were uh, pronounced and, uh, and jumped out for me. But uh, as we said before, that, that's why it, it pays to uh, smoke the line, smoke all the sizes. Mm -hmm. There's going to be that, that bell of the ball, that championship stick in there. And, uh, and, and, you know, and, and, and find the winner. You mentioned something about the name in your description. Well, take, take, take me through that. Well, where, where, where'd you go with that? Uh, the name, the Undercrown? Well, <clears throat> the, uh, the Undercrown was, uh, the factory workers, uh, that were working on, uh, leaguers, th they were smoking too many leaguers. Yep. And they, they were, they were told to, uh, dial it back down and they were able to come up with the Undercrown. That's where the Undercrown, uh, came from. And I, I think it's a stick that stands alone. Uh, on its own merit, the uh, the uh, the sun grown for me is the uh, the championship stick. That's, yep. uh, of the three, that's that's my favorite so far. Yeah, I've I've I I do have the sun grown in in my to do list. Uh, I've been saying this to you offline. Like, yeah. I got to get to it. 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 Uh, that's the one. It's, it's, red, it's a red. It. It's a red label, it right? Is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So that that is the one. I just want to make sure. Yep. But but yeah, I did hear that too. That when the Undercrown first came out that that was the stick that was rolled by some of the workers um, there because, you know, uh, as you know, if you're in a factory. Too much quality control going you know, on. <laughs> you, you, you know, you, 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 you got that. I, I, I did hear that through 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 the grapevine from, from a bunch of retailers and, and stuff like that, and they came up with that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, fascinating name if you think about it. You know, the, the, the work is kind of having their little uh, – oh, Absolutely. They're a little say in that, and uh, 
you know, it's funny how you mentioned that because I, I've, I've heard that frequently throughout. Interesting little tidbit. You yeah. know, I wonder if that's how it first came out and then they took that blend and then made the other shades there too. But, um, yeah, it's a good stick. Yeah. Uh, the Undercrown series. I, I just, the only one I have not gotten to yet was the Sun Grown. I have two of them in my, um, in my to-do list. Uh, my opinion, that, that Grand Toro size. Mm-hmm. Now, I haven't smoked all the sizes, but... You know, thus far, the, uh, the Grand Toro was the win. That's good, because one of the sizes I do have is the Grand Toro. Nice. So, looking forward to Excellent. that. You have another one? I do. Uh, the Crux Limitada PB5. Five tobaccos in this uh, particular stick. Uh, I'm probably going to butcher the name here, but the uh, Enganoso wrapper, Connecticut Broadleaf binder, and five different fillers of uh, Dominican and Nicaraguan uh, filler involved. $12 price point. Only 500 boxes of 10-count uh, are available um, initially with just the uh, just the one size. Uh, Crux secured the rights to N- Enganoso wrapper in uh, 2012, and uh, the Limitada PB5 was released in 2016. I smoked the 5 and 3 quarter by 54 box press Toro Extra, and this cigar for me was a bo- uh, box wear of the old day. Uh, peanut butter, pepper, and cedar notes. The peanut butter... Um, Flavor was absolutely pronounced. I'm not a peanut butter guy, aside from uh, Reese's Pieces, <laughs> but <laughs> but this particular stick it it worked and played well and uh, was really pronounced on the uh, on the tongue. It was good, medium to full in strength, and um, it's the uh, the ninth offer ninth offering from uh, Crux, and uh, the Crux Limitada PB5, box worthy. Never got to that. It's on my to-do list as well. I know where you got that one. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, as I march through the uh, the Crux line, you know? Uh, yeah, right, right. I'm sure you have more, right, Crux? I got a couple in there. All yeah. right. Today? Uh, one, more, one more today. And all I'll, right. I'll, work I'll do that. one and you can go back to Sounds Crux, good. right? Yeah. Or do you want to do Crux first? Oh, all right, all right. Oh, you want me to have at it? Yeah. Yeah, switching gears. Um, I felt like something strong, and I didn't have the opportunity to review uh, this stick yet here, so uh, I would say it's a revisit for me to smoke, but not a revisit from a Stogie Geek's gotcha. critique perspective there. So uh, you want strong Jaime Garcia Reserva Especial. I'm sure you had that one, oh, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, the format I had was Toro. Uh, the size is 6x54. The wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. Binders from Honduras. Filler is from Nicaragua. The complexity gave it a 7. Flavor gave it an 8. Balance, I did give it a 7. Uh, it's available in four different sizes. All of the sizes are listed on stogiegeeks.com. Click on the Stogie section uh, there. Um, this cigar, let's just start out. It's on the fuller side, but it's smooth and layer with notes of espresso, pepper, earth, and cedar all day. Yep. However, you got to do a little homework to get to the espresso, pepper, earth, and cedar. Although the stick starts off for the newer cigar smoker, or um, it, it is a full body. So I did say it starts off a little rough, but it, it, it's to be expected. It's a full-bodied smoke. But if you stay with it, full flavor and strong body is what you can expect right. from this. So you kind of got to stay with it. If you're new to smoking or you want something full, make sure you eat, obviously, uh, there. Um, try to get through its threshold in the first, uh, the, the first inch or so. And then after that, let me tell you, uh, it's a solid choice if you're looking for a full-bodied Nicaraguan cigar. Nice. Uh, that being said, I did give it a fiver uh, for, for that stick. You know, uh, I don't want to point uh, any, any new smokers in the wrong direction, but, you know... Uh, it's 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 much different than some of the sticks that his father would would had had produced right. for sure. It's full bodied. Was that your experience with that? Uh, two T. That's uh, yeah yeah yeah. It's just it's just full body. Like it's just it's all and you know I if, knew that coming in. I uh, it was no uh, no surprise. I knew I was gonna you know, throw the seatbelt on and dig in because it's, it's gonna be a full ride. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it's just a full smoke. But once you get past that first initial. The first initial, it, it, it does mellow out pretty quick. doesn't mellow mellow, but it it, 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 it it lets you know that you're smoking a full Nicaraguan stick for sure. Yep. But, you know, it, it, it's, uh, you, you get some, some interesting uh, 
flavor notes in there. That's why I gave the the, the flavor point system from the Joe Zempa rating system, yep. I guess, uh, uh, a little bit of bump because I, I think it's good. But, you know, when, when you're at, you know, Honduras Binder, Nicaraguan Filler, you're in my wheelhouse. I, I really like the Honduran yep. Nicaraguan combo, and there's a lot of sticks out there that really have that right. uh, for sure. So that was the Jaime Garcia Reserva Special. Nice. Next to me in the, uh, the crux line was the Guild. Uh, I'll preface this by I had only smoked one, and other, uh, other notable uh, cigar reviewers had this particular stick very high. Uh, myself, we'll get into it here. Five and a half by 42 Corona I had smoked. Ecuadorian Habano, Nicaraguan Binder and Filler. $10 price point, five sizes. Uh, comes in a 20-count uh, box. That are all with all crux, they're all divvied up into uh five packs. Mm -hmm. That's how they, they operate. Um, released at the 2015 IPCPR Cocoa Earth and Raisin Notes. Um, for me, I'm not a, not a raisin guy at all. It really, it really jumped out and was uh, it's on the forefront. For me, it's a try one, take nothing away from you know the stick itself. Construction was uh, fantastic, excellent burn, uh, phenomenal smoke production. It's a full cigar, but the uh, if the raisin notes of you know raisins are in your wheelhouse, you better get your hands on this because uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. For me, I'm probably uh, you know the minority in the the group with the raisins. It didn't uh, didn't play well. Um, it's a try one for me. Mm -hmm. I'm checking the Crux Guild. Yep, I'm checking my my uh, my uh, notes. Yep. These are my to do notes. I smoked that this week. Did it? And I actually started the review. Connected again? I, I, actually, <laughs> I, I, actually, I, actually, I actually smoked that this week um, for the first time Okay. Yep. Uh, there. And uh, I, I put it up on the site, but it's not published yet because I wanted to smoke another one because this was my experience. With yeah, I want to smoke with, another with, one too. With, without getting into it. I had it in the Robusto yep. size, right? I had it. I enjoyed it. And I bought another one. Hmm. You know what I mean. And then okay. when and then when I sit down and review, I'm going to do another one because I usually try to have two or three absolutely before it gets to review. But but from my rating so far, I would probably give it slightly more than your rating. Yep. But you know, again, I, I didn't start to articulate. It's like one of those things. You know, I, I had it, tried it. I had it this week. Took the picture. Got it ready. And, and save, did that. Save the rating till uh, next yeah. week or the week after. Yeah, I'm going to have another one as well. And. Uh, We'll see if we're uh, we're on the same page. It's so funny that that almost made the cut. Almost, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah yesterday, <laughs> I, I was making sure I was checking my my phone, the the, the picture database, <laughs> without going into the whole right. Story Geeks backend website thing. That would probably take longer than 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 the segment for me to do uh, <laughs> here, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I I probably give it a little bit higher of a rating, but definitely I I did enjoy it first time around. Yep, I I, I really did enjoy it, especially towards the end. But you, you, you. I did taste like a little uh, the sweetness, and and I'm wondering if it was raisins. It was it's that, uh, yeah, that 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 raisin flavor for me that uh, was uh, was pronounced throughout. Um, yeah, this is what it is. V cut. V cut. Yeah, yeah. I used, I, I V cut that too. Cool. Yep. I had the uh, Davidoff limited edition 2016 year of the monkey. Mm. Ooh. Yes, I did. <laughs> I will repeat that. <laughs> I had the Davidoff limited edition 2016 Year of the Monkey format. It came in one size, comes in Toro. Uh, it's a six and a half by 50. Wrapper is a Ecuadorian Rosita, Rosita Corta 3. It's posted and spelled correctly on <laughs> stogiegeeks.com. Go to the Stogie section because the binder, San Andreas Mexican, awesome, right? Yep. The filler. Okay, deep breath for this one. I got to sit up straight for this one. Sounds like a mouthful coming there. This is a mouthful. This is a Nicaraguan, Dominican, Polito, Cubano, Dominican, San, Vis San Vincent, Lajero, Dominican hybrid, Corojo, with some Lajero in it, and Peruvian Seiko. Mm. So, in your filler, there's a lot going on there. There's no question about it, right? Uh, complexity, I gave it an eight. 
flavor and balance, I gave it a nine. Uh, every year since 2012, Davidoff releases a cigar based on the Chinese Zodiac calendar. Starting out, the Davidoff Year of the Monkey has awesome flavors, creamy, oak, and earth. And then you do get a little bit of espresso and leather component there. And you do get that, and I use the word in quotes on the site, you get that Davidoff hay. Yep. You know, if you don't know what Davidoff hay is, you have not had, you have not had a Davidoff, but you get that, yep, I'm smoking a Davidoff. It's pronounced. Right? And enjoyable. Yep, <laughs> it's very enjoyable. A little mix of cinnamon towards the end. Touch of floral, for sure. Nice. Uh, that, that you get there. I mean... This cigar was uh, gifted to me by our friend Danny D, who uh, from uh, Queensbury Tobacco. Yep. Up in Queensbury, and or Queensbury Tobacco and Pipe works a store over there. New York. Had a chance to connect with him and have that stick. And I mean, wh- what can you say? I mean, it's 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 a it's Davidoff. It's on my to do list. I haven't it's, had it yet. It's a uh, limited edition stick. It's it's packaging is awesome. You know, it comes in a ten count box. It's got a little Chinese bamboo on there if you yep. do your re- research. Excellent presentation. Transition uh, with the flavors or just uh, flavor bang throughout. Was it bouncing around with that flavor or no? No, very subtle. Okay. You you all throughout the stick, you do get that Davidoff hay, that that signature Davidoff, yep. kind of like when you're smoking an avo. Yep. You 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 know that you're smoking an avo. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, there and then when you start it, it starts off creamy, a little bit of earth that kicks in, and Davidoff hay comes in. You get a little bit of espresso, leather component comes in, and it just it's just a great smoke. Nice. Uh, if you have the means. Uh, not to quote Ferris Bueller the day off, but it is choice. Yeah. If you have the means to get one, I think you owe it to yourself to 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 definitely uh, get one for yourself. Uh, it's a great stick. Uh, that being said, with the stick, that was the Davidoff Limited Edition 2016 Year of the Monkey. I gave it a box worthy all day. Nice. 100% box worthy. It, I mean, buying a box might be a little pricey. You would be in that skimming 400 range. Well, three change, high threes. But you know, you, if if you if you um, don't buy it sight unseen, the box, have one for yourself. If you're a collector, I know for sure you're gonna throw it in your collection. Nice, excellent. Next to me, the uh, the last I'm touching on uh, Crux today, the Crux Bull and Bear. Mm. Habano, uh, one of the originals Robert. from them. Absolutely. Uh, Habano Jalapa wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. Smoked the five and a half by fifty-five Robusto extra. Uh, seven and three quarter, uh, seven seventy-five uh, price point. Three sizes, box of twenty. Spice is so pronounced in this, and it's enjoyable. It was exactly what I uh, what I was looking for. Really solid, uh, medium plus uh, stick and strength. Cedar spice, wood notes that. That spice though was really pronounced and uh, and it stayed on the tongue throughout the uh, the whole the whole process. Really enjoyable. Um, one of eleven cigars uh, currently offered by uh, Casey Hogan at Crux, made at the Placencia cigar, uh, cigar Factory. Solidly made cigar, big smoke, and I put a reliable cigar. This was exactly what the doctor ordered at the time. Happened to have one of those nice days, perched up on the deck. I wanted uh, you know a little, little something uh, a little stronger. Um, not too strong, but medium plus range with, uh, just, you know, pronounced, uh, flavor throughout. And, uh, this is a box split all day for me. Crux Bow and Bear, as Joe said, one of the, uh, one of the originals by, uh, by Crux. Yep. Really, really good stick. And, uh, th- this can find its way in my regular rotation for yeah. sure. And, and also for the consumers out there who might not be familiar with the Crux brand, you, you can also buy them in five packs too. Absolutely. So yep. you know, if yep. if you're if you're not into the the box split price point, you can you can definitely go grab them in five packs. Uh, definitely a good go to. Yep. For sure. You know. Yes. So you like that one better than the Guild so far? I did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. You have another one? I yep. have one more. So I've got one more as well. Okay, let's do it. The uh, Vegas Cubanus Imperiales Corojo. Rapper. Is that the? Hold on. Is that the one from the picture? 
Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Joe, <laughs> Joe D. Uh, in between the week, texts me pictures of what he's smoking. Just just now, but we, <laughs> you know, we we do accidentally hit on the same sticks, unrelated to uh, any pictures that are going back and forth. We, you know, we we really do run into the same sticks uh, for review, which is insane. There's thousands of sticks out there, and we're hitting on some of the same ones. That's because for different reasons, both of us are cigar j- cigar. Retail gypsies. Oh, yeah. That's my word. I like it. Yeah. You know, the place. I mean, you know yeah. <laughs> we, we like to frequent the places. And... The same fact there's 38 shops in Rhode Island, but we happen to run into each other on uh, on occasion in some of these shops at the same time. Yeah, it's bananas. And we like to have the same conversation, but with different people. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that, that's how I look at it. Every, every cigar <laughs> shop has its, uh, its same, you know, similar list of characters. You could uproot 10 of these guys, pop them into another sh- uh, Another shop, and it's, it's the same people, you know? Yeah. It's a blast. So get get back to the uh, the Vegas uh, Cubanus Imperiales. Corojo wrapper, undisclosed uh, country. Nicaraguan uh, binder and filler on this. Six and a half uh, price point. Six sizes with 25 uh, count. I spoke the six and an eighth by 52 Imperiales. Uh, earth, spice, floral notes, um, that leather finish. Was really the leather finish was really proud for me. I, I really dig the uh, the leather notes in a cigar. Uh, one of the first cigars made by Don Pepin Garcia back in '03, and it previously went uh, into limited production. Uh, this stick was box worthy for me. It it really uh, it really hit me head on and uh, enjoyed it. Uh, just the 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 flavor uh, the flavor notes alone smoked like a champ, and um, it was a perfect fit. I'm gonna seek this one out. The uh, Vegas Cubanus Imperiales. Awesome, awesome. I remember when you took a picture of that. I was like, Girl, I know where you are." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's 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 funny. Um, my final stick for this segment here is the Padilla Series 68. Did you ever have that one? No. no. Padilla Series 68. Format I had was Robusto. That's a six by fifty. By the way, this HR is kicking in. Phenomenal. Like, oh man, like crazy. I just retrohaled this while I was listening to you, and th- th- this is a, f- a, 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 a it's. Uh, I gotta, to, I gotta get some more for for, for review. We're not doing justice because I'm told because I'm told uh, by some story geeks listeners that I don't like a lot of stuff. Well, if I reviewed this stick, it would be a very high rating. I happen to have one. Uh, <laughs> well, I've got I've got a box sitting on hand uh, with a you know year and a half of uh, age, and you and, you and Joe are gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Gotta get into it. If you uh, really really good stick. If you get me one of those, I will uh, critique that and 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 make the official. Solid. Review. It's such. It's. I mean, look. It's burning so. It's close. Unfortunately, we're not doing it justice by you know we're, we're we're gabbing, we're interviewing, we're bouncing around. This is one of those sticks you want to you want to sit down in a nice comfortable chair and just enjoy the ride all the way through. I'm it's, in a nice comfortable chair. Well, and I'm enjoying the ride. We get right, the right. we get the host and co-host or co-host or co-co-host. Still geeky. I, I want to shut my brain down and just enjoy it for for a stick like this. Well, we could go to commercial break and come back if you want. I guess we normally can. Right? <laughs> right? Oh, it spoke too much. Hold on. Pad shut off, right? Hold oh, on. There we go. Where am I? All right. Swipe. Here we go. Where are my pants? All right. All right. I had, for my final stick, like I said, it was the Padilla Series 68. Format I had was Robusto. Uh, size is 6x50. Wrapper is a Nicaraguan Corojo. Binder is Nicaraguan. Filler is Nicaraguan with Honduras. Nice combo. Mm-hmm. I like Complexity, flavor, and balanced. I gave them all sevens. This cigar is wrapped in a dark, oily leaf. It is a pronounced dark, oily leaf for sure. It warms up to a balance of spice, earth, and wood notes you get right off the top. Second half does turn uh, earthy, and it it's a long filler, right? Mm-hmm. So burns a little slower. It's pleasing smoke for Robusto. I do like it. Towards the end. You do get coffee and cedar. Phenomenal price point for this cigar. Uh, I'm hearing golfable uh, in the voice as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, lo- long, long, fill as lo- well. long filler. Long filler cigar. It's definitely golfable. Um, I did like its price point. Uh, you can do some research on that and then uh, get that there. That being said, if you're looking for a box split with a friend, I think this would be a good because you know it, it'd be good. Uh, it's a good entryway stick to if you're 
if if you want to try to get into some of the long filler stuff and it's a good entryway stick if you want to get it if you say you currently do mild medium right you know I, it's so funny and 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 when i observe uh people who walk into the retail shop oh everybody smokes mild medium but yet the stick they have in their hand is not mild medium right you know yep. <laughs> right and i just kind of like you know i laugh and go back to doing what i'm doing right but if you're looking for a long filler smoke golfable go fishing if you live in the northeast Sit in your garage or car. Well whatever. Played. Well played, Joe. Whatever you want. You gotta, you gotta do a loop around. Bring, bring right? it back. Yes. This is it. It's yes. called the show wrap. Joe, yeah, it is. Right. You, you gotta wrap it up. Right? <laughs> and a good comedian brings yeah. it back around. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta wrap it up. Right. If if you're looking for a good price point to box split with a friend, definitely check out this cigar. I think you, you will enjoy it. If you've had this cigar and you want to give some feedback, email Joe H or Joe D at StogieGeeks.com. We'd love to hear from you. Beautiful. Next week's show oh. is going to be a hoot nanny because we have Boot Black brand coming in. It's going to be a good time. We'll see you next week. Later.